The Coral Triangle is the world's center of marine life. Due to its species richness, it is also known as the nursery of the seas. The Coral Triangle is home to 75% of all coral species on the planet. More than 3,000 species of fish, six of the world's seven species of marine turtles and marine mammals, including whales and dolphins. The Coral Triangle covers all or part of the seas of six countries in the Indo-Pacific region. Indonesia, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Solomon Islands and Timor-Leste. As the centre of marine life, it also directly supports more than 120 million people living in the region who depend upon its resources. The Coral Triangle is home to the world's largest population of commercially important tuna species. More than 25% of the global tuna catch takes place in this region. Tunas are large and in demand. A lot of income is generated by the tuna industry in countries such as Indonesia, Papua New Guinea and the Philippines. However, there are plenty of competitors. All in all, too much tuna is caught, particularly juvenile tuna which never reach adulthood or reproduce. Many industrial tuna vessels fish on high seas using fishing lines with length of up to 20 kilometers. Many of these vessels operate illegally, catch too many tuna, and in the process use hooks which kills sharks, seabirds, and marine turtles. The tuna is taken from the coral triangle, but the lion's share of the profit goes to large-scale boats, traders, and restaurants around the world, while local communities do not benefit. Smaller, less industrial vessels that fish for local consumption in coastal areas can also cause much damage. Anglers like these often catch too many juvenile tuna. Fishermen find their catch nearby so-called fish attracting devices, artificial rafts where fish congregate. The combined impact of all pole and line fishing, long lines and nets mean that tuna in the coral triangle is heavily exploited. In Indonesia and the Philippines especially, tuna are declining dramatically. Not only tuna, but also species that are used as bait, such as anchovies, scats and sardines, are facing difficulties. WWF believes that governments should take more restrictive measures. The lack of management of tunas means that we will not have tunas tomorrow. The pressing issue right now in the Coral Triangle is addressing the juvenile catch of the juvenile yellowfin and big eye, which undermines the sustainability of the whole fishery. We need to have policies on fish aggregating devices that attract all these juvenile tunas together with a skipjack fishery. We need to have a policy on the minimum size of the tunas and a policy on minimum mesh sizes such that the small tunas could escape from the net. WWF also introduces a new type of fish hook to reduce bycatch. The circle hook, while still catching tunas, will leave marine turtles unharmed. Circle hooks actually adds to the volume of the catch. The fishermen loved it. Okay. Aside from the fact that it's being free, <laughs> freely given. But what we, what we would like to have in this region is that the, the fishermen themselves embrace circle hooks as the minimum standard for uh, the long line. By insisting on sustainable fishing techniques, higher fees for fish licenses and stricter regulations as to where, when and how to fish, WWF aims to restore coral triangle tuna stocks to a healthy level. <laughs>